I was doing a little exploring with MobyMax today, and I'm not sure if all of the teachers really realize how much is in MobyMax and what you could be using it for. Um, to get to MobyMax, you'll want to log in to Clever, your Clever account, so clever.com, and log in as a teacher. And then if you go um, to the portal, and then MobyMax is one of the places in there. And then when you're logged in as a teacher, um, you will see all the different areas, and I'm specifically looking at um, reading or language arts. And I was looking for the middle school teachers, but just thought this would be nice to help others. Um, let's say I was doing reading skills for literature. If I click on that, it doesn't really show me a whole lot, but if I click on library, this is where I was able to find, like, let's just do seventh grade. And then it shows lessons, but I actually usually like to look at standards and know what standards are covered. Um, and then I could actually see, oh, for key ideas and details, they do cite textual evidence to support a claim. And if I want to see more on that, they will show me there's different topics. You can do some things here, and then they would actually give me some questions and stuff if I were a student. So I suggest, if you haven't, maybe thinking about MobyMax, how could this be used for maybe some of those um, Common Core standards that are a little harder for the kids? This might be some good things to assign and have the kids work on this as well as doing things in your class.